Hey, welcome back. It's Back to the Basics. I'm Sean Barr, and today we are talking about key infrastructure cabling. Everything from an Ethernet straight through to a crossover cable, a T1 crossover cable, and what's the difference between multi-mode and single-mode fiber? Let's talk about it. Let's go! We are back and we are talking the key cables in networking. First one we're going to talk about is Ethernet. There's two real core Ethernet connection, connecting cables, which is an Ethernet crossover and a straight through Ethernet cable. So what's the difference? Well, anytime you're using an Ethernet crossover, you're connecting like devices. So DCE to DCE, DTE to DTE device. So what is a DCE device? Well, DCE device is a data connecting device and DTE is a data terminating device. And so when those two like devices are being connected, you need a crossover cable to emulate a switch or a hub, that type of infrastructure. Essentially, it's crossing over some of the pairs in the, in the ethernet cable. I'm not gonna go into the pinouts on this video. There's plenty of information on the internet on how to make a crossover cable, but that's why you'd wanna use it, like devices. A hub to, or a switch to a switch, a laptop to a laptop, a router to a router, those would be uses for a crossover cable. A straight through cable, that's a typical cable. It's connecting a device, a network device, like a laptop to a switch. Anything like that, a standard connection would use a straight through cable. Um, so that covers ethernet crossover and straight through. Let's talk a little bit about T1 crossover. So a lot of times when you're bringing in a PRI, it comes in over, let's say it's not using SIP, it's coming in over this T1. We would use a T1 crossover if we have a CSU DSU in our router and we have a CSU DSU from the provider. So we're gonna need a T1 crossover. It's four wires and essentially it's just crossing the pairs over. Again, there's plenty of guides on there on what the pinout is for a T1 crossover. The main point is knowing when to use it. So if you're connecting a PRI into, into a router or uh, for voice termination or a PBX and it doesn't come up, you don't see the little green light that says connectivity, you need most likely a crossover cable and that will bring the connection up. So if you're looking to enable a T1, there you go. T1 crossover, that's the use case. Fiber optic cables. Uh, we're talking multi-mode or single mode. Typically multi-mode is used within a building. So if you're having, you have an MDF and you're going to an IDF, that's gonna be a multi-mode type fiber connection. If you're going building to building or you're stretching miles, that is going to be a single mode type of fiber. And the big difference between multi-mode and single mode is really distance limitations. And it's, it's around what type of fiber optic cabling is involved and also what kind of emitters are being used. The main point is multi-mode shorter distances, single mode longer distances. There is a differentiator in color on the shielding of the cable. So traditionally single mode fiber has a yellow uh, coating on the outside. So if you're in an IDF or an MDF and you see a yellow coating, you know that's most likely single mode. If you see orange or OM4 is now an aqua type color, those colors are traditionally multi-mode fiber. Let's talk a little bit about the connections, LC and SC. So traditionally, back early in, in, in the days, SC was the common uh, form factor for plug, pluggable uh, fiber. And the reason was is, is the GBIX uh, were a little wider and that, that was the form factor that it supported. Now as we move to SFP, smaller form factor, they're a little bit, a little bit uh, narrower. And so you need another form factor for connecting that fiber and that is LC. They're the small little square uh, type connections. Um, really there's no difference in terms of the fiber optic cabling. It's more of the form factor of the plug that connects the fiber optic cable. So to wrap it up, we talked about ethernet crossover cables versus ethernet straight through cables. We talked about when to use a T1 cable. And we also talked about what type of fiber optic cables uh, are out there. If you like this video, or if you have any comments, you want us to do a video on something uh, maybe I said here, let us know. Make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.